Old Dominion swimmer Sydney Hoja will graduate this spring as one of the best male swimmers in program history. The senior from Albania holds three individual Old Dominion records and is part of four relay records. Um, in the pool, he came in as a freshman looking to be one of our best athletes, but he's gone above and beyond. He's outswam pretty much all our competition. He works hard every day. As a good student in the classroom, Hoja has a 3.0 average in civil engineering. Last season, he was named the CAA Swimmer of the Year. He is currently in Austin, Texas, where he is preparing to swim the 50 and 100 meters at the NCAA Swimming Championships. I have some more experiences from last year, so I know a little bit better what's, what's going to happen and how the race is going to go. Hoja has been to two Summer Olympic Games for Albania. His career best time of 1941 in the 50 meters ranks 25th in the nation. So he will have to swim a perfect race to advance to the round of 16. The, the only way that I could make it back is because uh, that's what I'm aiming for in this, in this meet. It's, it's if I get a perfect race and that's what I've been trying to do. That's what I hope to do. And if everything goes as planned, I think I, I might have a shot. Hoja was originally recruited by Michigan, but when that fell through, he landed in Norfolk, which was a bit of a culture shock for a kid who grew up in Albania. I thought I knew English, but I really did not know it very well. I had to ask people many times to, you know, repeat what they were saying, and thank God these guys, like my teammate, didn't get tired of me of, like, hey man, <laughs> it's enough. The top 40 swimmers in the nation qualify for nationals. The top 16 swimmers advance to the second round. Hoja has been working on his starts and turns, hoping to not repeat last year's NCAA experience. I hope I make it back. That's, that's all I can wish for. Last year I was 18 by .03, which is, you know, it's a heartbreaker. You're so close to making it back and you don't, and you have to learn from your mistakes and come back here and practice more, and I've been doing that. Reporting from Norfolk, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.